Dear friends, welcome back to Curious Vet. I am Dr. Mohsina. In the last video, we discussed about three important mixosporin diseases in fishes. That is whirling disease, proliferative gill disease and proliferative kidney disease. In today's video, again we discuss about one important disease in fishes, especially freshwater fishes. It is a bacterial disease called columnaris disease. This disease is seen in wide variety of freshwater species of fishes and it is economically devastating for warm water food fish producers like catfish. So this is a very economically important disease in freshwater fishes. Now let's see the etiology. Flower bacterium columnar, a gram negative road or filamentous bacterium is the causative agent for columnaris disease. You can see the gram stained image and the image of the bacterial culture here of flavobacterium columnar. Now let's see the clinical signs. Clinical signs uh, are classified into different uh, that is on the body surface on gills and other clinical signs. Now first let's see the clinical signs on body surface. Small lesions start as areas of pale discoloration at the base of the pectoral or dorsal fins. These areas increase in size and become as large as 3 to 4 cm in diameter covering about 20 to 25% of the total surface area of the fish. This may have a characteristic appearance of a saddle. So this disease is also known as saddle back disease. The surface of these areas have slight lemon yellow color and skin become completely eroded. Large numbers of bacteria are present at the advancing edges of the lesion. The necrosis leads to complete loss of the pectoral fins and then spreads to the head region. Now let's see some pictures of the clinical signs. Here you can see flavobacterium columnar induced saddle back lesion that is shown by arrow. In a fish, the lesion is visible as a discoloration starting around its common location that is at the base of the dorsal fin and extending laterally to encircle the fish resembling a saddle. And in this image, you can see skin ulceration which is represented by arrow that is also caused by flavobacterium columnar. The lesion has progressed into deeper skin layers here exposing the musculature. The edge of the ulceration displays a distinct reddish tinge and its center is covered with yellowish white mucus. Here comes another uh, lesion. At the tail fin, uh, that is you can see the tail fin erosion caused by flavobacterium columnar. Columnaris disease led to complete disappearance of the upper half of the fin exposing the underlying musculature here. Now let's see the clinical signs in the gills. Gills have white or yellow orange areas of necrosis. This start usually at the periphery of the gill and extend towards the base of the gill arch which completely destroy the gill filament later. In this image you can see the gill lesions caused by flyobacterium columnar. Yellowish white areas of degeneration are visible clearly in the ventral part of the first gill arch that is represented by arrow. The yellowish white areas of degeneration of the gill are clearly visible here. And so the apart from the clinical signs on the, on the body and in the gills, uh, you can also see other signs like loss of appetite and slow swimming. Now let's see the diagnosis of uh, columnaris disease. It is based on case history, clinical signs and microscopical examination that is more important. Isolation and identification of the causative agent, slide agglutination, ELISA, fluorescent antibody test uh, also help in the diagnosis of disease. Uh, there is a spelling mistake here. It is ELISA, E-L-I-S-A. Sorry for that. 
Now let's see the microscopic examination in little detail. The scrapings from an, an infected area of gills are examined under the microscope with or without staining and presence of long slender rod shaped or haystack like colonies or gram negative organisms assist in diagnosis. In this picture you can see the gill section of a koi carp infested with flower bacterium columnar. In the left figure extensive loss of branchial tissues are visible and uh, this is an advanced stage of the disease in which the filaments and the lamellae have fused and the gill epithelium is destroyed. Complete clubbing of the gill filaments may finally result in circulatory failure and extensive internal hemorrhage. A detail of this is depicted in the right figure where the bacteria are visible as long slender pur purplish structures in between remnants of the gill tissue. Also wet mount slides of lesions from skin or gills can be used for diagnosis. Here you can see wet mount strains at 100x uh, magnification of long bacilli, flavobacterium columnar isolates. Prognosis Morbidity rate of columnaris disease in unsanitary conditions may reach 100%. Mortality rate under the same condition may reach 70% or higher among the young and most susceptible fishes. Now let's see the treatment of columnaris disease. Early infection can be treated with potassium permanganate or hydrogen peroxide in water. Flophenicol or oxytetracycline can be used to treat systemic or chronic columnaris disease. That is very important. Flophenicol is the treatment of choice and early infection is treated with potassium permanganate or hydrogen peroxide in water. Coming to prevention and control. Minimize risk by preventing traumatic injuries and reducing organic debris in the tank. The bacteria prefers lower water temperatures. Also, there is a columnaris vaccine in the U.S for a large mouth bass and channel catfish. So that's all about columnaris disease. So before ending, let's wind up the important parts of the, uh, let's see the important points about this disease. So flavobacterium columnar, a gram negative road is the causative agent of columnaris disease. That is an Im economically important disease in uh, freshwater fishes. You can see the different clinical signs on the body surface, then gills and uh, that loss of appetite and slow swimming and the ulcerations and the gill lesions that is yellowish uh, white areas of degeneration are very important and microscopical examination is an important aspect in diagnosis. You can see long slender rod shaped haystack gram negative organisms also wet mount slides then uh, treatment uh, is uh, by potassium permanganate or hydrogen peroxide in early infection or fluorophenicol in systemic and chronic infection and prevention by preventing traumatic injuries and reducing organic debris in the tank. Also there is a vaccine available for columnaris disease in US. So that's all about columnaris disease. Uh, if the video is informative and useful, please like it and share it with your friends, comment your suggestions. If you are new to this channel and not subscribed yet, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. See you soon with another video. Thank you.